So you might be in a situation where your hotspot on your iPhone keeps disconnecting. Now, what does this mean? Well, essentially, maybe every time you're going through and you're actually trying to connect to a hotspot or you're going through and enabling your hotspot on your iPhone, but it just keeps disconnecting on your other devices, there's a couple of reasons why this may be happening. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you're not going through and enabling Wi-Fi when you're on hotspot. Because if you're enabling Wi-Fi while you're on your mobile hotspot, that is going to cause lots and lots of issues for your hotspot because it's not going to be able to enable it. So make sure you don't have Wi-Fi enabled. Make sure Wi-Fi is off because if you try turning this on, then the hotspot will be disconnected. Now the other thing, if you're going through and if you're actually connecting your hotspot to another device, what you're going to want to also do is make sure that on that other device, you're typing in all those you know information and all those things, you know the, the password, everything like that, 100% the same way. If you're even slightly off, that can probably cause some issues. So make sure you're not even slightly off on your specific you know, password or anything like that of, of that entry. But also, you want to make sure you're within range of that specific hotspot. If the phone is here and I'm like three miles away, I'm not going to be able to pick up that hotspot. So make sure I'm within the same area of that specific you know, device that's emitting that signal. And that could end up fixing the problem too. Now, if that doesn't end up fixing it, the other thing you want to try doing is you want to try seeing if there's an update available for your iPhone. So what you can do here is you might want to get off your personal hotspot and connect to Wi-Fi or data. And what you want to do is you want to click on general settings on your iPhone settings. You want to click on software update. And what you're going to want to do here is you want to update your specific phone. So that is basically going to be the main way a lot of people are going to be able to fix this. So just go ahead, update your specific device, and that can probably end up fixing the problem for you too. So that's pretty much how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.